welcome. Um, I'm just going to say a couple of words. My name is Colleen Estrada. I'm the design director for Microsoft Research Fuse Labs, the event sponsor for the annual design expo. On stage with me is our trusty MC, Melissa Quintanilla. She's the design director and founder of Dupla Studios, a Seattle-based ad agency, and formerly of my studio in Microsoft Research. Um, last year, she competently handled our MCing, and I asked her to do that again for us today. Um, thank you, Melissa. So um, I'm just going to talk really briefly about the goals of Design Expo. It began really 13 years ago, I think now. Lily Chang and several other design leaders in industry and academia joined together and said, wouldn't it be marvelous if we gathered the top design uh, schools from around the world and posed a challenge to them to build community, foster collaboration, and just learn from each other. And that has gone on, that tradition has gone on now for the past 13 years. Really quickly about this year's challenge, the challenges are always varied and try to be super um, current. Um, for this year's challenge, we look to our past, our present, and our hopefully designed perfect future, which we know is very hard to achieve, impossible in fact, and, and posed a challenge of achieving symbiosis, taking a nod from JCR Licklider's pivotal work on man-computer symbiosis, which imagined a world where humans and computers were interacting real time seamlessly to achieve things. We looked to our present and determined that, wow, this is the last year, a plethora of chatty bots were emerging and personal agent services that were doing all manner of things for us, often being driven, the commanding interface being the CUI, the conversational user interface, or the CUI combined with the GUI. Why is this a great thing? Well, for that symbiotic motion, that, that symbiotic symbiosis of the human and computer um, being able to work better together. Now, we think that with the CUI, the GUI, and uh, you know, all the, the pervasive user agents, there will be new types of computing experiences that we can de design, and that's where we pose the challenge. So that's the brief background on the challenge. You will see the nine student presentations from everything from the, the, the practical and plausible to the perfectly provocative coming up. So it's a great show. Melissa is going to handle the rest of the process and management of the program for you. Thank you, Colleen. So a bit about the process of Design Expo. Design Expo culminates today in this event, but it's a process that lasts almost a whole year. So it starts in the fall of the year before, where the schools and professors and, and the topic or challenge are selected. Then each school has a course on the subject, and we also assign Microsoft liaisons to partner with those schools throughout the course to give feedback on the student projects and also to select the winning project to come here present. Some of these classes are up to 20-some people. They have sometimes eight groups. So today you're seeing the top selected groups of each of those schools. The schools today are going to present their work at Design Expo. They have eight minutes to present. And then they have brief feedback on the critics. And the critics today are, we have Lisa Strassfeld. Lisa is an information architect and data visualization entrepreneur. She's currently principal of her own studio, Information Art. Since last year, she's been acting global creative director of the Gallup organization. And prior to Gallup, she spent three years at Bloomberg, where she built and led their first data visualization team. Prior to Bloomberg, Lisa was partner at Pentagram, one of the top design consultancies in the world, for almost 10 years. She left Pentagram to launch Major League Politics, a startup that measures and visualizes government activity with the goal of entertainment. She has received the 2010 National Design Award for Interaction Design. She holds four patents related to user interfaces. She's been a senior scientist at the Gallup organization for the past 10 years. And she has taught the interaction design at the Yale School of Art and NYU's ITP program, which is one of the schools participating today. Help me welcome Lisa to our panel of judges. <clears throat> Next up, we have Cliff Kwong, first time critic at Design Expo. Welcome, Cliff. Cliff is the director of product innovation at Fast Company and is currently leading a redesign of Fast Company's digital presence. Cliff is also the founding editor of Co.Design, Fast Company's design site, which is probably on the reading list of all designers I know. 
In, in 20, 2011, Co.Design won the National Magazine Award for Best Online Department. Previously, Cliff has been an editor at ID Magazine and The Economist Online. His work has appeared regularly in Wired, Popular Science, and Good. Speaking of writing, Cliff is currently working on a book about user experience, so stay tuned. Thank you, Cliff, for being here. Next up, we have Bill Buxton. Bill is a relentless advocate for innovation and design, especially when it comes to our human values, capacity, and culture in relationship to new products and technology, which is very pertinent to the themes of Design Expo every year. This is reflected in all of his work, from research to teaching to talks and writing, including his column on design and innovation for businessweek.com, and his 2007 classic book, Sketching User Experiences, which I personally own a copy, and every designer I know owns a copy. And I see some nodding in the audience. We just call it the yellow book. Over 10 years, he was a point, over 10 years ago, he was appointed principal uh, researcher at Microsoft Research. And prior to that, he was principal of his own Toronto-based design and consulting firm, Bucks and Design. Bill beca began his career as a musician, a composer and performer. In 1975, he started de designing his own electronic instruments, and that was a path that led him to human-computer interaction. He has won many awards, too many to list here, and he has been awarded four doctorates honoris causa. Thank you so much, Bill, for being here. <clears throat> Our fourth critic today is Rob Gerling. Rob is the co-founder of Artifact, a technology product design company based in Seattle. Artifact was founded in 2006, so it's been offering amazing designs and inspiration to all of us for the past 10 years. Thank you, Rob. His career started at Apple after winning the 1991 and 1992 Apple Student Interface Design Competition for concepts around mobile and personal computing. Rob then spent 10 years right here at Microsoft obtaining several patents and making significant contributions to Microsoft Office, Microsoft Games, and, and later becoming design manager for a UI brand and UX for Windows XP. Rob left Microsoft in 2002 and has worked as a senior interaction designer for IDEO, another, <clears throat> another top design consultancy in the world. And prior to co-founding Artifact, Rob worked for Sony Computer Entertainment of America as a lead game designer. Thank you, Rob, for being here again. <clears throat> Last but not least, a special thanks to Mike Caspro. Mike is a behind-the-scenes critic for Design Expo. He has been helping run Design Expo for the last nine years. He comes the two days before the conference and provides valuable feedback to all of the student projects. The students go through two rounds of rehearsals and Mike helps polish their presentation before they present to all of you. He is a senior vice president and executive creative director of innovation and digital with the advertising agency BBDO. He is more a family man than a madman. He lives in Toronto and apologizes for Justin Bieber, but not Drake. <laughs> Thanks, Mike, for being here. Here's the list of schools for this year. Please hold your applause until I read all of the names. We have Savannah College of Art and Design, University of Washington, Umeå University from Sweden, University of California, Los Angeles, Carnegie Mellon University, Art Center College of Design, University of Dundee, New York University, and University of Southern California. Round of applause to the schools. We are ready to dive right in. <clears throat> 